and this, between this and Guilty Spark, this might sound weird because apparently this level is pretty infamous with the Halo 1 community. Personally, this is one of my favorite levels in the entire game. Or the entire series, really. I used to hate it as a kid, but its style has grown on me over the years. Then you look over here and you're like, wait, what the fuck is this? Or actually, that's not even what like realistically happens. What realistically happens is you casually walk over there not looking behind you and then this thing sneaks up and blows up in your face just like a fucking creeper. And wow, there's a shit ton of them. And they changed how like the carriers interact with each other in the mod. They don't blow each other up or knock each other around, which is really fucking lame. It's like the funnest part of dealing with the carriers. Of course, that's also like the most dangerous aspect because like, you know, they can kind of just fly all over the place and the distance they will get knocked back to is ridiculous in this game. And I think they nerfed it in the other Halo games too. And I really... Where the fuck did that plasma pistol go? Oh no. I actually really need that. And yeah, as you can see, that actually does set off the, um... Stray grenades as well. The most fun weapon to use against the Flood, in my opinion, is like the Assault Rifle, but it's a little bit finicky trying to like consistently find ammo for it, you know? Although, this is probably my second fa- well, actually, no. Uh, my first favorite would be the Assault Rifle, then the Shotgun, and then this, the Plasma Pistol. Because it just melts them, as you can see. Which is really weird, because like in Halo 2, it does like no fucking damage. It's really annoying. Ooh, shit, and the fucking... The destruction has already started. And I gotta make a point to like... Throw these grenades early. Or at least pick up the fucking ammo, if nothing else. These things are just tanky enough that you can't really kill them immediately. And the way that they, like, use weapons is just really weird, because sometimes they shoot you immediately, and sometimes they just kind of run at you. And I just love how they just fall over and blow up in your face. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm, I'm doing pretty good so far. Like this combo we got going right now, the Assault Rifle and Magnum, not a bad combo against the Flood. Honestly, like there's not- my favorite part about the Flood, besides everything else, like the Swarm aspect, and as a Zerg player I just love that, you know. This is like- Playing against the Flood really puts me in the mood to just play Zerg, you know? But the other thing is that- See, th that's the fucking distance shit I'm talking about. It's just hilarious. Like, what the fuck? Okay, that's some cartoon shit. But yeah, my other favorite part about the Flood is that there's not really a lot of weapons that are just straight up bad against them. Like, you can do pretty much any combination of weapons and there's not really anything that's just terrible against them. Of course, like, the most ideal combo, I think, is like, shotgun and assault rifle, or like, shotgun and plasma pistol. So like this... I don't even think there's that much ammo for it, though, unfortunately. Can I pick up this? Yeah. So I can just switch back and forth between, like, clearing the infection waves. 
Or, you know, if I want to, like, save my uh, shotgun ammo, I can just do this. And there's going to be a lot of shotgun shell drops, so I'm not going to run out of ammo very often, I think. As long as I'm not just spamming it. See, like, already, there's, like, another flood form with the uh, assault, the shotgun on. There's one thing I want to show off, too. Right here. Yeah, if you shoot Guilty Spark, I think I did this in the original playthrough too for shits and giggles. You can trigger like all kinds of different dialogue. Okay, if these waves will calm down, I can show off more of them, more of his other uh, lines. Please stop being human. That line in particular has always cracked me up. Because, like, what a weird thing to say. Weirdly specific. We have much more important business here. Dewey, Spark, Dewey. Stop firing your weapon. Okay, no wonder Guilty Spark betrays us at the very end. That is completely unnecessary. Then again, he's an asshole. So, I guess he deserves it. Wow, he didn't even respond to that. Hello? Did he just run out of voice lines? What's going on there? Boo! And I like how like this almost looks like shit or just looks like puke. Although I like to think of it more like shit even though... It is like diarrhea grain, man. It's not like a normal brown poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That is disgusting. Absolutely abhorrent, Booty. Unsubscribed. You disgusting pig. And I love how they just tease you with this, because you're like, man, the end of the level is right there, and I can't even grab it, man. What a bunch of shit. That is completely unnecessary. Okay, I'll take it. I'm satisfied. But the other thing about the Flood is they're so squishy, there's not a lot of times where you need to use grenades on them, you know? And usually what I like to do against the Flood here, although I don't know if I'm actually gonna remember to do it in this playthrough, but you just kinda run forward, you trigger the wave, you back your way, and you kinda just do that over and over. See, like, we just cleared out the entire wave just off of that. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, there's another wave coming by the looks of that radar. Yep. Might as well get this. I'm running kind of low on the plasma ammo anyway, so... Okay, speak of the devil. Shit. You can't even, like, really see the frag grenade, so that makes it, like, really, really tricky to tell when that's a threat or not. So, like, really what you want to do is just assume it's always a threat, you know? And as much as I love the shotgun, like, the awkward delay between shots and having to reload is a huge pain in the ass for dealing with these waves. Apparently, you can actually shoot while jumping, that's interesting. Oh fuck, the Magnum. Well, these things got some AoE. I didn't think he'd knock the other ones back. Apparently, he can. This is also the one level where the uh, plasma rifle isn't that bad. See, it's actually a little bit better for, like, rapid damage. Wait, what? Yeah, I know for a fact you're still alive. 
Yo, get this door open. And they kind of lure you into thinking, oh, this isn't so bad. He just opened the door immediately. And then he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, there's ten of these things. And you're like, oh, shit. Is there going to be a bunch of last stand shit? This is not the correct direction. If you do not follow me, you may become lost. Well, it's not actually that complicated of a library, luckily. So... In the mod, this particular side of the room is, like, hilarious. There's, like, a million enemies. And I think it's a bunch of, like, combat forms, too. It's not just infection forms, like, here. Man, like, the Flood, or... The fucking, uh, Forerunners? Yeah. They clearly didn't think hard enough about how they were structuring these, uh, libraries out and whatnot. Because it's literally, like, the perfect kind of geometry for the Flood, you know? They can just keep coming from any direction infinitely. It's kind of weird that, like, the plasma rifles I'm picking up are, like, always 100, though. And you really don't want to pop that open. Because then that's more shit you gotta deal with. Oh, and I think, uh, Guilty Spark actually mentioned something about them altering the atmosphere. And how my, uh... Armor is going to be useful for fending that off, and holy shit, where did you guys come from? <laughs> I'm probably going to say that a ton. The most annoying thing about the infection forms is how they can just completely block your damage. Oh my god. Let's go for round two, shall we? Wait, what? Holy shit. I died a lot quicker than I thought I would. Yeah, I gotta find, like, a really good area to just kite these things. Uh, maybe I should just go backwards a little bit. Sorry about that. Hopefully I can actually remember to edit that out before I upload the fucking video. I'm not even sure, like, was this wave gonna trigger no matter what, or... Did I actually, like, accidentally trigger it? And I could've avoided that. Okay, and... Fucking Guilty Spark has given us a, uh, little history lesson on the Flood, and it's like, dude, I'm, I'm dying over here, why are you telling me this? It's like someone might as well get an episode of BBC talking about, uh, fucking animal documentaries. If there is one thing I really don't like about this level is it is very, 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 very repetitive. Because, like, get used to these fucking corridors, because guess what? The entire level is designed this way. There's, like, one or two little offshoots that are, like, slightly different, and that's it. And I love how these guys just jump out from the bottom, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think there's a shaft down there. There is a power-up, though. I want that. And I already wasted, like, half of it. Fuck. What the fuck? You're still alive? Come on, man. If you guys remember my, um... 
my Mantango review, Matango review. I mentioned that there was some, uh, some novel that was, like, the inspiration for The Last of Us. It was talking about this fungus that basically takes over your mind and makes you eat it. That was the inspiration for the film Matango, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the inspiration for the flood in this game as well. I'm not sure if, like, the developers actually openly admitted that or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Sorry about that, but yeah, I want to say it was made in, like, I think the 1900s, I said in the video. It wasn't that far long ago, I think. And this is not the best place to be when there's a fucking carrier over there. Or maybe it is. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I was thinking to myself, man, I'm doing pretty good right now. I didn't fucking die. Wow. Dude, pop already. Jesus. Okay. Okay, there's some fucking conga line behind me. Okay, there's a carrier party. And these things melt your uh, shields a lot quicker than I thought they would, to be honest. I remember as a kid, I was always curious about what exactly this was, too. I think it's just there to look pretty and nothing else. God damn it, I want to know the lore implications of this random blue goop. Or stasis looking thing. This water, this alien water. I should have killed these fucking things earlier. Just to be safe. Oh man, there's a fucking grenade like right there. Okay, any better weapons? I can get more ammo. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here like right now. Because the longer you stick around, the more waves you gotta deal with. It's not infinite, but... It lasts a while if you really wanna, like, test how long the flood will keep coming. And I guess I technically didn't even need to do that because the set was right there, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> And they're still spawning behind me, apparently. <clears throat> Wait, it gets worse. That is such a perfect chapter name. Perfectly sums up how the entire level plays out. I used to always think that his little hum was creepy as shit, too. Even his glow is kind of creepy, to be honest. And, uh, to be honest, I don't really need to pay that much attention. Once the sentinels are here, it's not nearly as dangerous. Bruh. I wish it was like the other Halo games where you can like kill a sentinel and then pick up his laser. That was the best part. You can do that in the mod. Apparently you can do it with the fucking um... The Hunters too. Which doesn't even make sense because it's supposed to be... A cybernetic enhancement that's like... Attached to their flesh. Or whatever. 
I guess Master Chief is just so fucking strong, he's literally ripping it off of them. Come on, man. I'm not even attacking you guys half the time. It's just the Sentinels. Fucking douchebags. And I'm sure we'll actually see it in action, but there's this weird effect where, like, if you lose all of your, uh, shields and you get hit by an infection form, your screen will shake. Which is a nice detail. I should have been using my frags. I'm fucking stupid, man. Plasma grenades are terrible against the flood. I mean, I don't think they're that good in general anyways to be- Oh, shit. Okay. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow, I actually survived that wave. I can't even believe it. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Ooh, what's this? Notices your plasma pistol. Apparently these things don't have shields, I guess. Because they're just blown up left, right, and center. You know what, I bet that there's like a map in the Halo multiplayer, or like, someone should have tried this, where they basically try to make a domino effect with the, uh, the flood carriers, where you try to get them knocked into these successful positions to just make this ridiculous explosion. Just a series of explosions. Or like, get vehicles to fly into the air or something. I never tr really tried that much. I, I did it a little bit in, um, Halo 2, where you basically have someone, like, shoot. You, you go inside of a warthog, and then, like, someone tosses a grenade at you or something. Or, there's, like, certain maps that... I remember there's that one map with, like, the giant wheel in Halo 2. And if you get a warthog on it, it can, like, send you flying, or, like... In some instances, it can actually knock you out of bounds out of the map, or like the intended play area. And that is the most dangerous, scary fucking thing I've ever fucking seen. A flood with a rocket launcher. Although, to be fair, anything with a rocket launcher is terrifying. I cannot believe I did not hit a single flood with that. There we go. I knew I saw a shotgun. And... This is actually the one instance where it doesn't really feel that important to get a rocket launcher. Because they die so quick anyways that it's like, eh. Do you really need it? And this was a little moment I always liked where he just kind of casually leaves and then... Right out of the si oh wow, you actually see them spawn too. <laughs> like right out of where he came from, there's just immediately a bunch of infection forms. And then, oh shit, they're jumping out of here I think. Don't they? I'm pretty sure there's a part where they start jumping out of that little hole. think this is the right way? I'm not even sure. Spark, lead me. I need you. <laughs> Fuck you then. I just want to play it really safe, guys, okay? I think this is the first tunnel? Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that, that little fog coming out. I like that. I never noticed that before. Usually I just go down into them without really paying attention. And 
I guess it's just the presence of the flood that's creating that. It's like the atmosphere changing that uh, Guilty Spark mentioned. I wish there was more of this in Halo 1, but they didn't nail that until Halo 2. Unless you want to count the mod, I guess, but eh. I prefer the classic above all else. Come on, pop off. Ooh. Okay, I'll take it. And it sounds like the carrier forms and the infection forms have like the same sound effect, I think. So when you hear them, it's like, okay, which one is it, you know? Well, it's very similar. That's the most satisfying is when you just punch them in the face. Punch the infection. That should be on a uh, a shirt or something. Hey, you got a cold? Punch the cold. And I'm not sure where to go. Oh no. Oh no, I know what that is. Down that corridor. I'm in a really bad position. Oh, fuck. I'm at, I actually have to get away, like, right now. Because I'm gonna fucking die otherwise. Oh my god. Th th see, like, this is a terrible position, too. It's like everywhere you go is a terrible position on this library level. The only, like, thing that really keeps your shit together, mostly, is just the fact they give you so many good weapons on this level. So, it, it never really feels completely unfair. I don't want to say it's fair, because it is kind of ridiculous. But, the flood ain't fair. And I unlocked a checkpoint, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Because sometimes you just have to, like, punch through. As shitty and awkward as it is. Mm hmm I knew that was coming, but I didn't react fast enough. But... I should just do this. Wow, what a bunch of retards. And apparently that wave didn't follow me all the way out here. Thank God. Uh, you know what? It's not the best, but I'll mess with this thing a little bit. Again, it's not terrible against the infection forms to use the shotgun, so... Like, if the wave gets really, really bad, I'll just throw out a rocket. Okay, there's nothing down there. Uh, I'm kind of scared that the infection forms are actually going to block the rocket too, to be honest. Oh my god. I don't want to show that shaking effect. I'd actually rather not. Because then I'm going to die, probably. I'm always, like, wincing just in preparation of the giant nuke explosion. 
Yep, just like that. Although the frag grenades are like by far the scariest for that. Wait. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm beginning to wonder if it might actually be better if I just fought it out. Although it seems to like change depending on which part of the level I'm on. So like right here it seems to be optimal to just keep moving so far. Yeah, the elevator's right here, so. And you know what, for being a library there's not a whole lot of fucking books in this area, you know? Maybe those glowing things are supposed to be like data drives or something? Because this quote-unquote library is literally just an- It's just a series of empty corridors all the way to the fucking index. Or the sacred icon, if you would prefer to call it that. Definitely. Anything down here? Yes, there is. Wait. I don't really remember, like, where all the health kits are on this level, so I need to at least check and see. Yeah, there ain't shit back here. And I love how these guys just come out of nowhere. You're like, whoa. This wave is a, it's slightly bigger than I was expecting. Uh, okay. Hurry up and explode, you fucking douchebag. There we go. <clears throat> is this... Wait, this is a dead end, isn't it? No? Okay, yeah, Guilty Spark's moving this way, and there's a door and everything. Yes! My beautiful, beautiful medical kit. Even though I'm just gonna lose all my health pretty soon anyways. Oh shit. What the fuck? See, I actually did lose my health immediately. And it's really a wonder to me how the other carriers even survived. You'd think they would all just pop, but no. Okay, I do have some frag grenades. Oh my god. And like, once there's a bunch of random corpses, that's when the carriers become really, really, uh, dangerous. Oh, okay, thanks for killing yourself, buddy. Okay, you could have posed a threat, but you didn't. Okay, I gotta check and see. Uh, just a rocket launcher. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's 
weird. Usually when I mash the, uh, or when I mash the left click button, it just goes through, but nope, not that time. Now they just got a bunch of assault rifle now. Okay, there is my shotgun. <clears throat> yeah, I knew he was gonna get back up. Motherfucker. Another thing I really liked about the, uh, Anniversary Edition was how they hid the particular terminal on this level, and what the fuck is that? Is that a glitch? Am I not supposed to see that? That- I've never seen that, that is weird. But yeah, on like, one of these levels in the Anniversary Edition, they have a terminal that's like, hidden off to the side. So you really have to like, go out of your way to look for it. I do like how the Anniversary Edition, like, gives you more incentive to explore. Because, like, in the base game, other than, uh... Fuck. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, that worked out really well. I, I swear to god I've been in here earlier. Or I'm just crazy. I guess I just missed them jumping up. It's weird. <clears throat> I just want this. It's the only reason I went for it. Oh shit. Okay, did another rocket flood just kill himself randomly? Oh my god, get out of my face. Oh shit. Oh no, this fucking room. Although this is a sign that we're very close to the end of the level. But this is also like the hardest room in the entire level. If you get- if you can get yourself in a corner, it's not too bad, but... Especially trying to fight it out in the open, it's a nightmare. And even like getting in the corner where they can't really surround you as much... ...is tricky. See, like, the door shut on you and everything. This is usually what I do in this level, or this part. It's, I just hide in the corner. Like the cheating faggot that I am. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Kind of, uh, luck-based. It all depends on, like, when I'm reloading, when I'm shooting, etc. And how many of the, uh, infection forms are out on me. I'm tempted to throw a grenade, but... I want to kill myself by accident. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it, even though it's kind of finicky. 
It was cool, man. I'm gonna throw an emergency grenade just in case. Oh, it actually opened. Cool. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, wait. I should heal. So like, so like on a random side note, oh shit, what the fuck? Talk about bringing in the cavalry. But uh, have you? I assume everyone except me has seen uh, Avengers Endgame because I still need to see that movie. I'm not even sure if it's still in theaters. Um, cause like if it is, then maybe I can see it on my next paycheck in like next week. But I, like, put off watching it because, um... Well, one, I don't really have a reliable ride to the theater, so... That's tricky to manage. But the other reason is... I really wanted to see that Godzilla movie. In retrospect, I kind of wish I saw Endgame, but... You know... I, w I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I didn't see a Godzilla movie immediately, you know? Because that's pretty much what I did for Godzilla 2014. I think I, like... I marathoned a bunch of movies in anticipation of that movie, and then I saw it on opening day with my aunt, and did the same thing this year. I kind of wish I could rewatch that movie again though, like already, because I want to see if I can get more out of it than I did the first time. Because I think part of the issue is I wasn't really in the best mindset for it. I don't know. Because, like, the way I look at it is, like, 2014, you know, even though everyone complains about how there wasn't enough action, it was so good. I think it's up there as, like, one of the best uh, Godzilla movies ever made. And especially for, like, a, an American production, very strong introduction to the King of the Monsters. And, you know, it cared a lot more about the story than most Godzilla movies do. And I think that the way that the camera showed off the monsters was better in 2014. Because they made it always happen from, like, a human perspective. For scale and whatnot. I think it had a stronger atmosphere, too. Than, uh, King of the Monsters did. <coughs> Oh wait, oh shit. <laughs> I should probably look behind me. I could be wrong, and I actually hope I'm wrong, because that video is getting some uh, mixed reception already. Me complaining about the uh, new Godzilla movie. Weirdly, everyone is positive in the comments, which is not what I expected. But I'm sure eventually the comments will pop off. Because, like, it's easy to think I'm just trying to be a contrarian, a contrarian when I make rant videos like that, but that's really not what I'm trying to do. Because, you know, especially as a, a small YouTube channel, the last thing I want to do is uh, step on anyone's toes, but at the same time, like, I'm, I'm kind of an opinionated asshole, you know? And I love giving my opinions on things and talking about Especially when it's something I love, like Godzilla. Like, of course I'm going to talk about the movie, whether I like it or not.
But who knows, like, all of these, uh, Halo videos might actually bury it anyways. So it won't get, like, as much attention as I thought it would. Because usually my rant videos... Like, basically, my shit posts and my rant videos seem to be the ones that get the most attention on my, uh, channel. Which is kind of a shame, because... I feel like I put more work into my, uh, Let's Plays, or I, I make a lot more of them. I would still call it my, uh, main content. Yeah, I guess I should just go this way. Should I? Wait, where did I come from? Did I come from this room? Is this where the tunnel is? Yeah. So I guess I just go this way. <clears throat> yeah, that's confusing. They got like another one of those tunnels, but that's like a fake one. Okay, checkpoint just as I go to save a checkpoint. Herp derp derp. And I think this is the last door, isn't it? Oh shit. Uh I think this is like the last door and then we get to the end <coughs> Because it's like, uh, midnight already. And I'm kind of tired, to be honest. It's been a long day. Between work and, uh, doing the earlier levels and whatnot. Mm. Yeah, I gotta take this slower. I'm just gonna have to, like, pick this off on my way over there. I can't try to run past it or kite it out. Well, kite it out, yeah, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. Okay, that made my life a hell of a lot easier. I have a feeling that like when I kill all like everything in the wave, it triggers more enemies to come out too. So like that's part of the reason why Oh yeah, and this is the part I was talking about earlier where just a bunch of them start pouring out of this. Oh, that's awkward. I would say this is like the second hardest part of the level. Is just punching through this entire gauntlet at once. It's a pretty open area too. Cause it's like a the Zerg logic in StarCraft where uh the more open it is, the more of an advantage the flood has on you. Cause that gives them more room to just surround you, you know. No fucking shit, booty. <laughs> I'm just saying. And this is another corner I really liked abusing back in the day. I just lure waves over here. It's actually really hard for them to go in on me. Except for that guy, the fucking shooters. Just gotta take care of you and I'm fine. funny thing is, like, I probably could, uh, just run my way past them, because there's not really that many now.
Maybe I should try that, but I'm kind of nervous I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah, definitely not now. I gotta back the fuck up. Ooh, that was a weird visual bug. With the shotgun. Oh god. Come on, hit me up with more uh, shotgun ammo, please. And I should just get this. Yes, perfect. Grenades help a lot too, of course. Okay, if I can just get over here. Perfect. Eat a dick. The energy barrier surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. Speaking of Godzilla, I actually got like some dank ass Godzilla you figurines. <clears throat> it's kind of a funny story because like I was just casually going to Walmart to pick up some food and groceries. And I was like, hey, that Godzilla movie is out. I should check and see if there's toys. And I didn't ex I didn't really plan on buying anything. But then I see they they have the fucking Showa era toys there too. And I was like, okay, I'm buying that because they got the old school first generation Mecha Godzilla. I should post that on my Twitter actually, so you guys can see it.